Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel. As you can tell from the title today, it's going to be a makeup tutorial, which is something I don't actually think I've done since I've been here in this uni room filming. It has taken me about 20 minutes to actually try and figure out how to set up uh, like a camera and a light and a mirror and everything because every other video I've filmed in this room so far has just been like a sit down chatty video or like a vlog or something like that. I haven't actually done one where I've had to get a mirror and try and balance it on some stuff in front of me. So currently I've got a pile of books and boxes and magazines in front of me holding up my mirror. Um, but I'm very excited to be filming this makeup tutorial. I thought I would just get it done because um, I needed to film a video for next week basically. I'm really really sorry there wasn't a video last Sunday. Um, I've been so busy at uni, like so busy recently. I've had so many deadlines coming up and I had a super stressful morning this morning as well because I basically submitted my first essay last night and I did it wrong so I had to get up really early, go to the library and get them to take it down so I could resubmit it, stupid me um, and I'm not gonna lie, I've already had a nap today and it's only 20 past 1 so yeah that's how my day's going um, but I haven't done my makeup yet today and I thought I would film it now um, so that you guys have a video to watch on Sunday when you watch this I will actually be back home I'll be home for Christmas so lots of new videos coming your way hopefully um, I'm gonna stop chatting shit and get on with the makeup so for primer I'm going to be using this one which is the Glossier Priming Moisturiser. I do still actually think this is meant to just be a moisturiser but I like to use it as well as one because my skin is quite dry and especially now it's winter um, I like to use lots of hydrating products on it. You can probably see I'm coming out in like eczema all around my nose which isn't fun. Um, but yeah this look is just basically going to be the makeup that I pretty much do every day for uni. Um, I haven't actually got uni today. Uh, I've got the day off so I've just been, like I said, going to the library and sorting out a massive mess that I made with my assignments um, and then this evening we are going to view a couple of houses which should be fun um, so I'm not really doing that much today, I've just been doing like chores and stuff but I thought I'd get my makeup done anyway and show you guys um, foundation I'm using MAC Studio Fix in NW10 which is the lightest shade because right now I'm extremely pale as you could probably tell um, I'm gonna fake tan when I go home I think because I literally haven't fake tanned since I've been here at uni the only one I bought up with me um, was like a wash off one which I do really like for nights out but I don't really tend to go on nights out anymore we just sort of go to the pub if we're gonna go for a few drinks we don't really ever go clubbing so I don't ever really see the point in fake tanning I'm just embracing being pale but I will fake tan when I go home because I'm sick of looking like a ghost. <laughs> I don't think this lighting helps though actually, it really washes me out. I'm just putting a little bit of the Studio Fix all over my face and blending it in. I love this foundation, I've loved it for ages and I always just end up going back to it because it's just such a great all round foundation. It lasts all day, gives really good coverage. And it's a perfect colour for me as well. So if you're pale, like me, go and get this foundation. It's very good. Oh, also for my lips, um, before I started filming the video, I put some Blistex on them. It's the one thing that I love using on my lips in winter. It just keeps them really hydrated and soft. Um, so yeah, that's all I basically do to my lips. I'm now going to go in with a bit of concealer. Um, I've been using the MAC Pro Longwear Concealer, one of my favourites again, and I'm just going to take a little bit of that and just dot it where I want a little bit more coverage. I've got a few little blemishes on my forehead. My skin is actually quite good at the moment though, considering how crap it normally is. I usually get so many spots. Um, I think they are hormonal, but recently it's not actually been too bad, so that's good. I've just like got the scars left from previous spots from last month and then for concealer under my eyes I'm going to use a different one um, I bought this when I first moved to uni and I do actually really like it it's the Rimmel Lasting Finish Breathable Concealer um, it comes with a little sponge which I don't I don't love that part of it it feels a bit gross I like want to wash it but you can't um, so you just squeeze a little bit out into the sponge and then just dot it under my eyes it's a really good colour as well actually and you can I can actually use this like all over my face it's the right colour but 
I've just been using the MAC one instead. So I'm now going to powder down the concealer under my eyes. I'm going to use a MAC Mineralized Skin Finish in the shade Light. I feel like I'm using a lot of MAC products. I just love them. Um, I'm going to put a little bit on my chin and my eyes. I like to keep my skin glowy in winter just because like I said the cold weather does make it a bit dry and I think you can look a bit dull in the cold weather if your skin's really really matte um, but I do like to just set my foundation and concealer first and then just go in with highlighter to add a little bit of glow. Okay and now for bronzer to give myself a little bit of colour um, I'm using the Benefit Hula bronzer which it's just a classic isn't it? absolutely love it. Um, I'm using a Zoeva Luxe Face Definer brush, big fluffy one, and I'm just gonna add a touch of colour. So yeah, like I said guys, when you're watching this, um, I will actually be back home for Christmas. I'm home for just over a month, so I move home this Thursday, so when you're watching this it will be Thursday just gone, can't remember what the day is, um, I think it's the 14th or something, um, and then I'm home until the 20 something of January, so yeah I'm back for like over a month, um, so I'm going to make sure I get lots and lots of videos filmed because although I have got a job lined up when I get home just to keep myself busy and to earn a little bit of extra money, um, I haven't got any like uni work to do when I'm home. I've got one assignment to finish but that's it and that won't take me very long so I'm going to dedicate all of my spare time to getting lots of videos filmed so that when I come back for next um, semester or next term, whatever you want to call it, um, then I won't ever miss a week of videos because I'll have so many like stocked up. That's my plan anyway, it might not happen. <laughs> Um, I'm now going to take this brush which I know is extremely dirty and disgusting um, and I'm going to put some blusher on. I'm using the Benefit California blusher which I love. It's just a really pretty like pearly pink bronzer and it smells like passion fruit. I know this is more of a summer blusher but I love it anyway. Um, and then I'm going to take my Kevin O'Quan sculpting powder, my trusty contour powder. Um, and pop a little bit of that on. Just a tiny little bit. I don't want to look too chiselled. Not that that would ever happen. My cheeks are too chubby. Um, and then just go back over that with the sponge just to make sure it's not too harsh. Okay, so for highlighter, I've actually got a new product to use which I'm very excited about. Um, I went to Bournemouth the other day for a little day trip um, and I had a really really lovely time and I basically thought I would pop into the Superdrug there and see if they have the Soph Does Nails makeup range because I've wanted to try the palettes for a really long time, like ever since they came out um, and nowhere near me has them. I found them in Bournemouth so I've got these two palettes. Um, I've used them a couple of times already, very impressed so far. So the first one is the Makeup Revolution Soph Does Nails Highlighter Palette um, and these are the shades inside, really beautiful. I feel like it's good because there's a lot on in this palette for pale skin um, but I'm going to be using the second one in and I'm just popping that onto the tops of my cheekbones. I hope you can see that, it is so pretty. I'm such a sucker for highlighter and I've never actually owned like a proper highlighter palette. Um, I've got a Barry M one that I bought at the beginning of uni but they're more like glittery and chunky whereas this is just so beautiful. It makes your skin look like glossy almost, I love it. Um, I'm gonna also just put a little bit of the lilac one as well, why not? This one is extremely pigmented, like, oh look at that, oh my god it's so nice. I'm also just going to put a little bit onto my cupid's bow, mm. glowing. So moving on to eyes, of course I'm using the Soph Does Nails eyeshadow palette because I just said about it. Um, I've been tending to stick to the same sort of colours in here, I sort of stick to like the peachy, pinky ones, don't know why, I'm probably going to do the same again today um, because that is the whole point of this video, to show you guys what I've been wearing. Um, I've been doing my eyebrows after my eyeshadow recently, I don't know why, I'm not usually one to switch things up but 
it's been happening. Um, I'm just trying to figure out what brushes are clean enough to use. I really, really need to wash my brushes. It's quite disgusting, I'm not gonna lie. Okay, to start with, I'm gonna use a pale shade. I'm going in. Oh, let's tell you what shades I'm using. That would be helpful, wouldn't it? Um, with the shade Fairy Lights, which is a really pretty kind of nude, sparkly nudey color. Just nice to go all over the lid. The next shade I'm going to use is Iced Coffee, which is a really, really pretty, like, matte, uh, nudey colour, I guess. And I'm just going to pop that on the outer corner and also through the crease. I love the names of these eyeshadows as well. I feel like if I brought out an eyeshadow palette, I would definitely call one of them Iced Coffee because it's one of my favourite things in the world. Speaking of coffee, I might actually head into town after I've done my makeup. And go and get a coffee because I had one this morning when I got up to help me wake up but I always think having a coffee at home is never ever the same as getting a takeaway coffee like it just doesn't taste the same does it? it tastes a bit crap to be honest when you have one at home so I might treat myself because I have nothing else to do today until about five when we go and view the houses so I might head to town. Um, next up I'm using the shade, what one do I go for? Peaches, again love the name, as you can probably tell it's a very peachy colour um, and I'm just putting that on the outer corner and again just blending it through the crease. So we had a uh, flat Christmas day on Saturday just gone so about a week ago for you guys watching. It was really fun so um, two of the guys basically did like all of the cooking. Um, me and Erin helped them do a little bit near the end when it was getting a bit stressful because obviously like, there's 10 of us in our flat so cooking for 10 people is pretty stressful I would imagine it got very hot in that kitchen um, but we started drinking at about 12 that day and we were drinking the whole day and I got very drunk it was my phone ringing no yeah, it was a really fun day. Um, I was going to vlog it, actually, and then there would have been a video last Sunday, but I just didn't really feel like it, to be honest. Um, I'm using the shade Tiramisu, which is a matte brown, and I'm just adding a bit of that to the outer corner. Um, but yeah, what I was saying was, yeah, we had a really fun Christmas day. We just sort of had Christmas dinner and drinks. We went to the Christmas market afterwards, had a very festive day, listened to a lot of Christmas songs, and um, this was the makeup I did for then, basically, and I actually did wear this outfit too. I took it out of the wash to put on for this video, I won't lie to you. <laughs> I've run out of clothes to wear, I was wearing like a really gross outfit today and I didn't want to wear that in this video because I just didn't but now I've told you that I'm wearing something that needs a wash, it's probably worse isn't it? Oh well, <laughs> I need to do some washing. I did some last night but I did a dark wash so I need to do a white wash. Um, next up I'm still using that same tiramisu shade and I'm just dragging it underneath my lower lash line. I also really like that this uh, palette has a really big mirror. So if you were on the go you could definitely do all of your makeup in this mirror here. Oh hello you can see my ring light. Um, yeah, absolutely love it. Um, the next shade I'm going to go in with, what's it called? It's really bright. It's called Pumpkin and it's this gorgeous bright orangey pinky shade. It's very daring. I'm just putting a little bit of that on the outer corner. I just love wearing these sorts of colours. I think for somebody with blue eyes it definitely just makes them stand out a lot more. Which I love. I'm getting hungry again guys, I've already had my lunch, I had my lunch at like quarter past 11 because I was up so early and I didn't eat much breakfast. I had my lunch super early and I'm getting hungry again so I might have to get a snack when I go into town maybe. Um, okay, next shade I'm using is Copper Coin, very beautiful coppery colour. Um, and again I'm just sort of putting it on the outer corner and also a little bit on the middle as well. I'm just really blending that out. Um, and actually I'm going to use a tiny tiny little bit of my favourite colour, one of my favourite colours in this palette um, which is Pink Champagne. It's a, It looks like a highlighter, it's absolutely beautiful. I'm just going to take it on a tiny little pencil brush 
and just stab that onto the inner corners of my eyes. But it's just so pretty. I might actually try using it as a highlighter one day. I feel like it would definitely work. Um, so that is my eyes done. I'm sure at some point I will get a little bit more adventurous and try and use like some of the blues and purples and greens. But for now, I'm sticking with the colours I like. Um, God, my bed is getting very messy. Okay, eyebrow time. Let's give them a little brush through first. I feel like I'm getting a cold. I sound a bit like nasally I'm definitely going to tint my eyebrows when I get home I'm so fed up with them at the moment I literally just hate them and they stress me out on a daily basis eyebrows of course I'm using soap and glory brow archery my all-time fave um, God, the mirror is very far away for me to do this Next up is lashes and I'm going to be using some eyelash curlers first just because I literally can't do my mascara now without curling my lashes. I just don't know why, I just think it makes them look so much better. Um, obviously I've got no eyelash extensions left in my eyes now. I got them done um, a couple of weeks ago when I came, like went home for the weekend. Um, they didn't last as long this time and I don't really know why so I don't know, I loved having them. I've had them so many times now. And when they are done, like first done, they look amazing. But this last time, they didn't last as long. Um, I'm used to them lasting about a month, but last time I got them done, about two and a half weeks in, and they were looking a bit shit. So I don't know, it was probably my own fault. But I might give it a miss this time when I go home. Um, roller lash mascara is what I'm using. I'm actually going to use the mirror in here. I really can't get my words out today. <laughs> I hope this video makes sense. Um, I'm using the mirror in here because that one is too far away for mascara. Um, and also this mascara is very dried out. I've asked for a new one for Christmas because it's quite an expensive mascara. Um, but I love it. It's one of my all time favourites but this one is getting so dry. I like have to do this for about 20 minutes. Okay that was an exaggeration but I still have to do it for quite a while. So mascara is done and that is now my finished makeup for the day. Um, it looks really blurry in the viewfinder but I've, I've just focused it but I think it's just my eyes. I've got such bad eyesight at the moment. I've just got new glasses and I've been wearing them a bit too much so now my eyes like aren't working as much as they should naturally so I've stopped wearing them for a bit because I want to be able to see. Um, oh what is my hair doing? I look like a little child with a little ponytail on top of my head. <laughs> okay, so that is going to be it for today's video. I really hope you guys enjoyed seeing this makeup look and seeing the products I've been loving using at the moment. And yeah, I hope you found it helpful or interesting in some way. Let, uh, leave me a little comment down below. Let me know what you guys have been up to and if you've got any plans over the Christmas holidays that you're excited about. Um, and yeah, please remember to give it a big thumbs up if you enjoyed it. Press the subscribe button down below if you haven't already. And I'll see you guys next week with another video. Goodbye.